Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be focusing on the steering column restoration and the installation of the new uh, Rosewood steering wheel for the 69 Camaro. And as some of you may know, uh, the Camaro had three basic options on the steering wheel. They had the standard wheel, which is pictured here. And then they had what they call the comfort grip, which was basically a kind of a rubberized steering wheel. And then they had the uh, rosewood wheel, which was the top of the line option, which uh, luckily my car came with from the factory. So, and of course the original one was long gone. So this particular wheel right here is a uh, brand new NOS Rosewood wheel. So I was lucky enough to have bought this wheel quite a while ago and uh, it's been sitting in a box for many years. So <clears throat> anyway, I um, do have a reproduction horn button that you pictured there. So on the steering column, I the my steering column was in pretty good shape. So really all I did was clean it up and repaint it. Uh, I did not have to rebuild it, put new bearings in it or anything like that. But I did take it all apart and, and repainted everything. And as you can see there, I put a new sticker on there. And uh, so I'm even reusing the original ignition switch, which I'm installing here in this scene, because it worked just fine. So I cleaned it up and just kind of reinstalled it. So... Uh, and they're easy enough to replace if they go bad or whatever. So anyway, on, on the uh, top portion here, uh, I took the original turn signal lever and cleaned it up. Had a little bit of surface rust on there, but I cleaned it up and polished it up and it works just fine. And the turn signal mechanism uh, worked just fine as well. So again, I just cleaned all that stuff up. And my bearings were in really good shape, so I'm just kind of re putting some new grease in there and I'm just putting all the original hardware back together again as it was because like I said aside from a really ugly steering wheel uh, the steering and the and the column and everything worked just fine so here I'm installing the new horn switch that that goes with the uh, rosewood wheel and I'm just kind of reassembling everything in in the order that it goes and then this plate uh, has a uh, specific locate locating notch in it that locates it precisely where it's supposed to go so that's pretty foolproof there but you have to make sure everything lines up properly like I'm doing here then if you'll notice it's spring loaded and you have to put a C clip in there. You have to press that down and install the C clip. And if you go to your auto parts store, you can buy this. I got it at uh, O'Reilly's and you can get it at any auto parts store and it's pretty inexpensive. It's less than $20, comes with two different sizes. So it fits a lot of different uh, steering columns. So you take your C-clip, you kind of lay that in there first. And then you use the steering column tool. It's pretty easy to use and it's really handy. It's a lot easier than trying to press down on that spring and then install the clip. So this just kind of presses it down to the point where you can then work the clip down. And I'm just using a small screwdriver. I mean, I, I know there are tools that install these C-clips, but it, it's just as easy to slip the, the C-clip down if you don't have the tool. I do have it, but I'm just showing it. You know, it's pretty easy to just work down. And once that clips back in place, you remove the tool and, and that's it. It's good to go. So then you just kind of rotate everything, get it get it in position. I'm, I'm testing the, uh, the locking mechanism right now and it works fine. And then the turn signal lever works fine. And then you put the, uh, the last plate on there. And again, it only goes on there one way. 
Again, all I did with this is cleaned it up and using the same screws and everything. My column was in pretty good shape, as I mentioned. So now I'm ready to install the wheel. And I have the correct bezel that goes, and the bezel has a hole in it that you put the horn switch through right there. And you have to make sure you have the correct bezel depending on which steering wheel you have. You just kind of work that down. And you want to make sure that the wheel's lined up the way it's supposed to go. You're going to have to reset it once you get it in the car. But right now, you know, you want to make sure you're turn signals on the left and so on so then you install the the nut and then here I'm installing the horn mechanism Then I line up the horn button and on the rosewood wheel and the comfort grip, I believe the horn button, the white color goes on the top. And you can see there the horn button works fine. So that's it on the steering column assembly and Here's the finished product all painted with a nice new wheel on there. And I'm about to show a photograph of what it looked like before. And it was pretty, pretty raunchy looking, but um, they turn out pretty nice if they're in pretty good shape to begin with, which again, this one was. So, so then the next thing is you have to get your, your rag joint. And in my case, I, I'm putting a brand new one on there. And it's just better to put a brand new rag joint on there. That goes between the steering column and the steering box. And a lot of your uh, steering wheel play is as a result of a worn out rag joint. So I'm just putting a brand new one on there and they're pretty inexpensive. So, And here I'm reinstalling the, uh, the rubber um, seal cover or whatever you want to call it. And again, I didn't re, re, uh, I didn't disassemble the entire steering column. So in this case, I'm just having to kind of force it around, and I just kind of turned it inside out and forced it on there, and it and it went on there just fine without ripping it and so on. So uh, if you have your column completely apart, then you put it on before you put it all back together. But in my case, like I said, I didn't take the column completely apart. So I'm having to force all these uh, seals and everything back on, which is fine. The rubber is viable enough. So. so now it's ready to reinstall into the car. And as I said in my previous video, I put a new firewall pad in. And again, that has to go in there first before you can reinstall the steering column. So it's a pretty simple process. You just kind of stick it back through the hole and then put the two nuts on there. Tighten the two nuts onto the dash and then go around and, and install the uh, the rag joint, which was installed onto the steering box prior. So, and I'm sorry for the darkness here, but anyway, here's the finished product. And as you recall, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So turned out really nice and that's going to do it for this video and again thank you so much for watching and please like subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next